Hello and welcome back to another Shoebox How-To video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the admin features of the Shoebox platform. These are features available only to admin users that are used to manage and modify your center. Let's start on the Patient List page. On the right hand side, you will notice the Recent Activities panel. This is used to track activities performed in your center. A non-admin user will only be able to view recent activities that they've performed. However, as an admin user, you will be able to toggle between your view and your center's view by clicking on the Center and Me buttons on the top of the panel. By clicking on Center, you will be able to see all recent activities carried out by all the users in your center. Now let's navigate to the Setup or Configuration page. You can navigate here by using the main menu or by clicking on the user panel at the top of your screen. The configuration page will allow you to perform actions to modify your information, your center's information, and to manage your center's data at a glance. Let's start with the user panels. The first thing to take note of is the name of the center or centers that your user account is in, located here. Center is the term used by Shoebox for a grouping of account data within an organization. For example, let's say your organization has two separate clinics operating within a city. The patient data for each clinic will need to be kept separate. Through the use of centers, a clinician could switch between centers to browse through the patient data at each clinic's location. Say I tested a patient at Clinic 1 on Monday, but then needed to test a patient at Clinic 2 on Tuesday. I would need to make sure that I switch over to Clinic 2 at the time of the test. To switch centers, simply click on this icon here. You will be presented with a notification that simply lets you know that you will remain in the center that you switch to on this computer. Clicking on the gear icon will allow you to configure your email settings. You can check the boxes for the notification emails you would like to receive, and select if you would like to receive an activity report email daily or weekly. The activity report email is a summarized report of all activity that has taken place in your center and on NOAA if your center has a linked NOAA account. The activity notifications email is an alert email that is sent automatically whenever a new activity has occurred in your center. For example, if a test was completed or if center data was downloaded. Clicking on the pencil icon will allow you to edit your personal information. Note that your first and last name are required, but the gender, title, phone number, and profile picture are all optional. You can also enable automatic disconnection, which will automatically log you out after 30 minutes of inactivity. For the other users in your center, you can click on their role to change it from associate to admin and vice versa, or click on the trash can icon to remove them from the center. Located below, are all the booths that are configured in your center and the hardware associated with each. More information on booths will be covered in our setting up a booth video. In the top right panel, your center's information is listed. You can edit your center's information as well as upload a custom logo by clicking on the pencil icon. By clicking on the plus colleague button, you can add a new user to your center. Enter their email address Select their role as either an admin or associate, and select their language if you are working in a multilingual center. Clicking on Add will send an email to the email address you've entered here, which will allow the new user to activate their account and join the center. Finally, clicking on the Center Download button located here will allow you to download your center's data, which includes both patient information and test data. Because it contains personal health information, you will be prompted with a warning message and asked to enter your passcode. After doing so, you will be sent an email with download links for the center data. And that summarizes everything you need to know about administrative actions on the Shoebox platform. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe. For more information and content related to learning about Shoebox, follow the links on screen or visit our online knowledge base at help.shoebox.md.